Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new Bricks Builder Query Loop Builder. And for most people looking into Bricks, using it professionally, using it for a legitimate website, this Query Loop Builder feature was the thing that was missing, the thing that was holding people back from adopting this tool in their day to day. And the reason behind this was that WordPress as a CMS is an incredibly dynamic system. You can add a bunch of custom post types custom fields, you can display blog posts, you can do all this with custom themes and traditional builders. With Bricks, there is no easy way to display custom content dynamically on various pages and templates on a website. And that's what this query loop builder brings to Bricks. You can use it on the container accordion and slider elements and you can pull in any post type, so it could be a post, a page, or any custom post you make, such as maybe a product for WooCommerce, anything like that. Um, you can also pull in terms and users. So it's not just a posts repeater. It will dynamically loop through or display or repeat all data associated with a query, be it with a post, a product, any custom post type, using filters like meta tags, uh, and terms and all that or you could also show a list of users on your WordPress website or a list of categories and that list of categories is something that a lot of people are really excited about because you can show product categories on bricks um, compare this to to oxygen builder you can't do that and a lot of people don't like that so let's really quickly read through this documentation uh, and then I'm gonna show you kind of uh, a little bit of sandboxing that I've done walk you through how this works um, and what I like and what I don't like about it. So very easy to add a custom loop. You turn it on um, in the container or cord accordion or slider. Um, and then from that, you can control the type. There are three different types, post terms and users. Under posts, you can then select whatever custom post type you want. Um, and then you can see with the post query, we can order by, we can uh, do a post per page. We can include, exclude posts and then also sort by a specific category or a term or a custom meta query. Um, so here's just an example of what you can do. Same with terms. With terms, we can show the specific term and then order and filter. Uh, so that is the product category example. And the final thing is the user query where we can kind of show a list of user on the websites. So we can say, if somebody is an author, let's display these users. It's also great for maybe a directory, something like that. It also introduces a pagination element. So this will just show the number of pages if we limit it, um, if we limit it in the query loop. And uh, it looks like they're kind of defaulting to the no found rows equals true, which means it won't show any pages below the repeating loop unless you add in this element which is, I like that. It, it makes it a little more efficient in my opinion. Um, and then we can also use this kind of query in these two elements. So enough talking, let's take a look at kind of what this has to offer. So I'm gonna show you a few different things. The first thing I wanna note is that on this sandbox site, I just created a bunch of random posts just to show you how this is pulling in using a plugin called FakerPress. I can add a bunch of different posts under different post types with different um, terms or comments or anything like that. Just a pretty cool, pretty cool plugin that I wanted to kind of highlight here. Um, from there, uh, I'm going to kind of just duplicate this wire cutter kind of layout to show you, yes, this is really good if you want to create a dynamic blog using Bricks, which was something that you couldn't do in the past. So here's a look at Here's a look at the front end just really quickly. Of course, it's not really incredibly designed, but I think this should show you um, kind of how it works. We can see that this is a linked featured image to one post, post title, author, post uh, excerpt, and then here are some other lists of posts, the newest posts, and then here's the deals list as we look here in, in Wirecutter, and I'm gonna show you kind of how all of, all of this is created. Um, and if I go right back, you can also see this is a custom page. I'm also showing you, here's a, here's a, the, we only have one category in the site, but here's a list of the categories that would be displayed. So let's jump into the builder and kind of take a look at how this, this works. So for any container you have, you have the ability to use the query loop, right? Um, and what I'm doing here is using these containers to kind of create a layout. 
so we can see the main hero right here is going to be a left sidebar our core content and then a right sidebar and I've kind of just limited the height and and added a overflow Y scroll just to kind of spice things up but here's kind of where the where this where this kind of takes takes shape so in the left sidebar we can see that that's another container and within that container divider heading and then there's another container in here and this is the container that we've applied the query loop to and this will repeat as many posts it'll spit out whatever we're querying through as many times as we tell it to do to do that and the way this works is I'll turn it on and I could turn it off and it'll turn it off and I'll turn it on but when I turn it on it's gonna pull whatever data whatever dynamic data I have in this um, in this container and it's going to run through and say all right let's insert a post title let's insert the post date as many times as, as I'm told to and if we click into the actual query builder you can see that this is actually pretty much the default query we're querying the posts the post type is a post and I can choose say I have additional uh, post types um, we can see it's saying pages but I can also go ahead and if I have WooCommerce products I'll be able to pull in products if I create a custom post type I can pull in my custom post type I'm ordering by the normal date descending post per page is it's showing 10 the offset right here is saying it's going to show everything aside from the most recent or the the top post on this query and what that means is um, what that means is that it's going to kind of this is the first post in the query so it's going to skip the first post and show the rest so that kind of you can kind of layer your offsets if you have multiple um, loop builders on your brick site and kind of say I want this to show the first post and then I'll offset one post so this will show number two three four five six and then say I want to offset there are seven posts on this page I want to offset it seven times and show seven eight nine ten eleven right here my offset would be seven so uh, just a just a note um, we can include exclude posts we can exclude the current post so for repeated terms or related terms I can say I want to display a loop of four related posts including these related terms maybe using this feature right here dynamically inserting the current post term um, I'm going to exclude the current post so it doesn't show that that's the most recent post and you'll notice that sometimes I can't really click something this is the recording this isn't bricks bricks is relatively stable even though this is a beta 1.3.7 um, I have not found any issues with it so it's a really good product it's something that I really like we can duplicate these um, and delete them as needed so let's move a little onwards so if I have a bunch of custom uh, fields and stuff and I want to order by these custom fields I can do that too I can say either I'm gonna add a custom uh, a custom tag maybe a custom category in there which will be able to be pulled from this query or I can say alright let's have some radio buttons created with ACF one says red one says blue one says green I can say um, ACF uh, the custom ACF query red and then I can dynamically populate my ACF field so something like that um, it's a relatively powerful query loop builder which is something I like and we can see that this is kind of repeated for each of the layouts my container my middle container is going to repeat it and this is set to only show one post per page um, and then same with the right sidebar the right sidebar for example this is kind of showing I have a custom ACF field and it's just repeated throughout the site um, and it's pulling in your featured image and this is all dynamic data as you are probably familiar with bricks I'm just saying I want to display right here my featured image if I can click can't click into it but I want to display my featured image right here so that's something uh, to keep note of in in the bricks builder um, and then also down here if we head on down here this container is another query loop builder it's just a demo of what you can do with if I can click into it it's a demo of what you can do with your custom uh, your custom query so for example if I if I could click into it if loom allows me to click into it um, I would turn on my builder 
go ahead and get into that query and say, I want to query these custom terms. Um, let's show all of these product categories with the associated product, product category, um, product category images, stuff like that. So that's just a quick demo. It looks like Loom doesn't want me to click into it, but that's just a quick demo of what this Bricks Query Loop Builder is and what it has to offer and kind of the power that it now affords people using this page builder. It's a great page builder. It has really good user interface. It's really fast to load um, and it's also outputting pretty clean code. I know I haven't done a video review of this yet. I'm kind of waiting for WooCommerce version 2 to appear in the next couple of releases to kind of really dive into this and then also compare it to Oxygen Builder, which is a main competitor and also the tool that we use as an agency, which we haven't replaced with Bricks. But um, now with this Query Loop Builder and the coming coming features, it may be uh, a, a possibility to switch some sites to this. Um, so hopefully this was a helpful video showing you how the Query Loop Builder works. Um, how I would use it. Uh, so just another quick overview. We're just repeating various uh, containers with a featured image element. So it's an image element with the featured image dynamically populated. Here's a post title with uh, a link to that post dynamically inserted. And then if I repeated this multiple times, it would then go say, let's find the next post. So it would find this one, add that uh, image, add that title, all that. We can offset various repeaters or, or post builders to say, I want to show the first post here. I only want to show the second post, excluding this first post here. Uh, after I show however many posts are displaying here, maybe I'll offset it another 11. So this is 12 posts in total. I'll offset 12 right here, and then I can show the remaining here. So popular or powerful builder, um, something that isn't completely featured yet. I'd love to see kind of support for ACF repeaters and support for AC or Metabox clonable groups, but that's something that will come in the future. Um, this also works on the archive template. So if I have an archive template, I'll just throw in my archive title, my excerpt, and then I'll repeat our container. And just as a demo, um, it's showing this query, which again, it doesn't really want me to click, but it's showing the query of um, the the default archive. So I haven't changed anything within that loop builder. It's just pulling from that archive page, showing all uncategorized posts. Here's our post title. And then as a Bricks Builder template, I would just apply this to my archive template. All right. Hopefully that was a helpful video, kind of showed you um, what this new query loop builder has to offer. There's an associated uh, post on the Isotropic blog that you can go ahead and check out uh, linked in the description below. And until the next video, I will see you in the next video. I will.